State soccer provides the setting for a potential Class 3A state championship rematch. Valley and Ankeny were both still alive heading into the semifinals. The top ranked Tigers facing Centennial in an all Central Iowa semifinal at County. First half fireworks, Valley's Avery Galloway from outside the box. Tigers take the early 1 0 lead. Whoa. Centennial has an answer. Corner kick finds Ava Martin for the header. Ties it at one. We would go 1 1 the rest of the way. Second half and two overtimes. So we go to PKs. The Jaguars' Avery Porter scores and gives Centennial the 2 0 advantage. All they need is one more save. And Kate Bergen has it. Valleys, Rachel Hansen shoots, Bergen denies. Centennial knocks off the defending champ and is on to the state title game, two to one. Ankeny looking to join Valley, uh, Centennial in the final, rather, uh, facing Council Bluffs, Abraham Lincoln. Stingy defenses in this game, late in the second half. Shot saved by Ankeny's Jasmine Mosier. We go to overtime scoreless, but CBAL gets a look in the first OT. Hannah Shimmer buries it. Heartbreak for the Hawkettes. They lose via golden goal, 1-0. Dallas Center Grimes and Norwalk have been two of the best 2A teams all season. One more win for each, and they'd square off for a title. The Mustangs sitting at 20-0, headed into the 2A semis against Cedar Rapids Xavier. First half, DCG on the attack. Kylie Knife shoots. Top right of the goal. We're tied at one at the half. Second half, Caroline White from outside the box. She's just going to kind of loft it up there. And it goes over the goalie's head. White gives the Mustangs the lead 2-1. DCG was well in control by then. White's going to score her second with the right foot. Mustangs win 3-1. They're going back to the championship game for the second straight season. It feels really good. I mean, one of our players got hurt, so I subbed in and it was it was we got some really good assists across and it was a really good game, good competition, but it feels good to be going to the championship again. Norwalk trying to join DCG in the title game facing Waverly Shell Rock, but it was not to be. Go Hawks with the early corner kick. Macy Smith bends it in. That's the only goal of the game. Norwalk falls 1-0. Let's drop down to Class 1A. Des Moines Christian trying to get back to the title game, facing Underwood. Sammy Webster willing to help. First half, Webster drills it from 30-plus yards. That's a tone setter. Lions lead 1-0. Later in the half, free kick taken by Izzy Garcia. Garcia sends it high, and it finds the back post. What a goal. DMC leads 2-0 at the half. That's the final. Lions back to the 1A championship game. We came on the first day of practice and we were like, we want to get that championship this year and we've been grinding and working all season in 30 degree weather. So now that we're finally here, it's it's an amazing feeling. It's awesome. Our like main hashtag we've had this season is unfinished and we still believe there's so much more to come and this next game is going to be a fight, but we're ready for it. DMC gets the winner of Assumption of Davenport and Nevada. Cubs down one nothing with six minutes to go. Need a goal. Contessa Borwick, look at that. From way outside the box, left footer and Nevada squares it at one. Overtime not enough. We need penalties to decide this game. Assumption looking to close it out. Nevada's Maddie Dunham with the save. Pressure on Alexandra Arnaud to extend the competition, but she sails it high. Assumption wins 2-1 in PKs. Nevada knocked out. 